tell me about your time working with Brian Pumper. Oh. <sighs> The GOAT. No. No, I'm the GOAT, nigga. <laughs> not, no, you no. Wonder, that's the weirdest porn star in the world. We might say Brian Barber's the GOAT as a joke, but yeah. we cannot do that in the presence uh, of yes. an actual legend. Of Rico Shaw. Nah, I mean, well, the funny part legend. is, man, the funny part is, man, I actually like Michael. Oh. Brian, Brian. I'm sorry, yeah. this is about the government I was not, but <laughs> I liked him when he started, until he started doing ignorant shit. Because, mm-hmm. you know, it's funny to me to tell you the truth about the nigga, and I'm a, this is one thing I can say positive about him. Um, nigga never had a wood problem in his life. Really? That I ever seen him being on set with me, mm-hmm. never was uh, never had a dick issue. I seen many niggas with dick issues. That nigga dick is instantly hard for whatever he needed for that moment when you need it, it goes. Seems mm-hmm. like a real natural perv. That's just him. Mm-hmm. He's a natural pervert. <laughs> <laughs> like in his mind, whatever natural the fuck is going on, yeah. up, up, whatever's <laughs> going on up there yeah. is naturally for him. Mm-hmm. Now I don't really rock with the nigga with some of the things that he do because I don't like the disrespect to women with cracking eggs on their head mm-hmm. and. You know, you running out here fucking bitches raw that don't nobody know. You on trains, you know, you know, pushing, you know, agendas against women. It makes it look bad for me as a porn star. Mm-hmm. Because when I'm out in public and I try to speak and somebody find out I do porn, they be like, oh, no, you just like the nigga Brian. I'm like, God damn. Mm-hmm. That had nothing to do with me. Mm-hmm. Just because I do porn and he do porn don't mean we the same nigga. Gotcha. You feel me? You do have clean waves, though, much like him. Oh, thank you, bro. Well, his is way better than his mine. His was stupid for one. No, nah, he had a whole program. His shit probably ain't looking too good in jail right now. No, nah, his shit, he had a, he wore three wave caps every day. <laughs> I swear <laughs> to God, no, I promise you, he would mix. Uh, no, he had a, a, I seen why his waves looked like that. Mm-hmm. Like, he mixed up three different wave greases. He melted it down, put them all together, and he would put on the wave cap, another wave cap, another wave cap, brush his hair and do that. His shit was immaculate. I don't do that, nigga. I brush my shit about 10, 15 times. Mm-hmm. My hair just good, nigga, and I throw on the wave cap. What cool. was the first stuff that he started doing that fucked up his name in the industry? Um... The first thing, um, he kept showing up to set with girls. Mm. Just hanging out. And the out. directors kept telling him not to do it because you're just bringing random fucking girls on set. Yeah. Um, we don't know if they're tested. And then other dudes don't want to fuck them because they are pretty. Um, and then that makes it uncomfortable on set because then you don't want nobody touching a girl that you brought. And it's that. And it was that. Or showing up late. I remember one time, for instance, swear to God, swear to God, mm-hmm. I was I was doing a, I have a movie. I'm on a, I'm on the cover of it when I used to be signed the famous star when I was fucking with Travis and them mm-hmm. and I had on it's a cover called I got five on it and I had on a famous star had a famous star hoodie famous star belt everything and I had five I had Gianna it was Gianna I had five bitches around me it was Gianna Michaels mm-hmm. it was super five big name girls back then mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and he was supposed to be in the scene mm-hmm. but he was late as Ooh, fuck wow. Wow. and we're in a big fucking mansion Gates closed. I'm in the middle of the scene getting my dick up. We're doing our reading. I got five girls lined up. I'm going down the line. Mm-hmm. This motherfucker somehow towers the wall, walks in. I'm fucking, I can see him open the door. The director doesn't see it. And I'm like, he just takes his pants off, dick hard, and just walks <laughs> in the scene. <laughs> The director was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what are you doing? That's kind of cool, though. It's impromptu. Yeah. But Real it was like, you're already out of the scene. The girls were like, no. Nah. And it was just, that was one of the funniest things. But wow. then it's like, I was pissed, too, because then he got a deal that I was supposed to get. The evil angel thing? Yeah. Wow. I, I talked to them first, and I was supposed to get that deal. And then, but he, one thing, what I can't. I can't knock him either for this. This nigga was way ahead of our time, way before mm-hmm. us with content and knowing things and owning shit yeah that nigga had like a thousand scenes in the can mm. before we even thought about the only fans or anything he already all the money that he was making all those scenes that he had with girls he he had them in the can just tapes tapes on tapes on tapes videos 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 yeah so all the money that he was just even having now came from all the content that he owned pre-2013 mm. back yeah of just girls and shit that he owned right and all he had to do was just post it right and making all his money. Mm. He was way ahead of his time with that. Right. Excuse me. But if he just could have been smarter, but he went to the evil and then he wanted to do ignorant shit. You can't go over the evil angel yeah. and fuck around. They don't play about their paperwork. Mm. They mm-hmm. don't play about their paperwork. They don't play about their business. They don't play about their money. Mm-hmm. And when I went over there, I didn't have content saved because I was so used to being on contract and working for people, I didn't have my own content that mm-hmm. I owned. Mm-hmm. So they wanted to give me just a distribution deal, but I didn't have shit to distribute. Mm-hmm. So he came with that. He had shit to distribute. So they ended up signing him, which was their mistake. But he was out shooting girls without tests. Mm-hmm. And then both owners of Evangel have HIV. You know, Whoa. the owner and his wife. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Dude, John Stagliano and his wife. Oh. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. So they don't fuck around. They're not fucking around. And then at the time that you do this, they're in a huge obscenity charge case, millions of dollars of a case mm-hmm. that they're fighting right now. And you do this. And you go out and you shoot a girl. And then you go test her after you shoot her. And then the test comes back dirty. What if it was something worse than it was? Mm. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? And that's where he blew his deal. Damn. And they never signed nobody else really after that. That's crazy. They want to fuck with no niggas. Niggas can't fuck up. Niggas fuck up shit. Got you. So you feel as if Brian Pumper is the reason why they stopped fucking with you guys? Or they stopped fucking with niggas. No, they didn't stop shooting niggas, but they wouldn't sign the niggas deals no more. Of course. Because it makes people nervous. Because they don't know what I'm going to do. I'm younger and I'm this and I'm that. But I would have never did no shit like that. You say you were actually mad at him when he got the deal and over you. Was that after he fucked it up or even before he fucked up the deal? Like you were just upset? Well, it wasn't to, even more that. It was yeah. more of I wanted that deal because I know what I would have did with it. Mm-hmm. It would have been literally some more iconic epic shit that I would have did with that company. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? I already was working, been working for them for years, doing amazing scenes. They had been putting out movies on me for years. Mm-hmm. Um, and I wanted that. That would have been my sixth contract. Mm-hmm. And I love directing. I've directed 47 movies. Mm-hmm. And I like directing and starring in my shit too. But... I wasn't mad at him really because of it. I was just like, you know how a nigga be like, damn, I ain't get it. Why do you think he but left the game and just started hanging out on the train and shit? Because the game wasn't fucking with him. He got blackballed. Nigga, really? Nobody would shoot him. Fully after that. blackballed after that? Yeah, nobody after that. Nobody was shooting. Mm. And then people already didn't really like Brian mm. because he was just weird as a person. He's weird. Rapping. Fuck the rapping. It ain't even, <laughs> his rapping is cold, but that dumb dancing shit and trying to start beef with rappers and. Just the way you move in the city. Like, I moved around the city, nigga. I ain't never been shot at. Mm. And I'm a street nigga. He been I, shot at? Hell yeah. Oh, wow. He been shot wow. at all in L.A. Slapped. I done seen a nigga get slapped in a bar. Mm. You, you around every day being seen. And he that big getting slapped? Yes. And that's even worse, nigga. Like, you that big getting <laughs> slapped in the street. <laughs> big as shit. But like, isn't he also super short? He, he's like 5'7". Oh, okay. But this nigga's on roids. Like, right. Choke mm-hmm. a nigga or something like. Yeah. But to be fair, in all my research of Brian Pumper, he always seemed like he was kind of that big. Like I, I never really believed that he was on steroids because he always seemed like it was pretty Cause consistent. Because he's always been on. Always. <laughs> <laughs> <'Cause> nigga, <laughs> nigga, he came from New York <laughs> always. Nigga, just shit. We know the nigga, man. Like we, I mean, if you know yeah. a nigga that work out, I worked out my whole life. You know a natural body from a nigga who do roids. Mm. And especially when you look at it, you work around a motherfucking nigga, you look at their back, they whole back broke out. Mm. It's roids. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? It's that. And if that's his business. I mean, niggas do roids. You know how many niggas in this industry do roids? You were in that that uh, one <laughs> clip where everybody was roasting him on set, right? Yeah, and they tried to roast me. Nigga, don't play me. That was so funny. <laughs> I got chokes, nigga. Yeah, the nigga Nat Turner tried to roast me. Now you on the internet with your butt cheeks spread. Oh, mm. I was talking about where they were spread, where they were roasting Brian. Yeah, that too. Oh, he was. That was it. Was Nat who was roasting Brian? Oh, okay. Wow. You feel what I'm saying? And Nat act like you know he the hardest nigga in the street, and you on the internet with your butt cheeks spread twerking. Damn. All right, nigga. I mean, let's be real, though, because you was a stripper at some point. <laughs> I wasn't twerking, though. At some point, though. Not like that. I- I'm sure somebody has some type of footage not you know, like that. of you popping that thing, man. Not, not like that. <laughs> no? Not, not, like, not like that. Not like that. Not like that. I expect it, man. <laughs> I had on pants when I was doing that. I expect that. <laughs> Video I seen, you was butt naked with oil on your butt. Oil and, on the ass? And soapy cheeks. Bent nigga, over? Twerking. Yeah, all of that. Spreading oh, and winking. Winking. Winking your butthole. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I that's a, that's that a little, di- that's now, a little different from what I was doing. Mm. That ain't where I was at. And then you did this personally at home by yourself. You wasn't in no club. Oh, man. <laughs> you was in your living room. Did you witness the Brian Pumper uh, booty fetish that's been alleged? The girl said that he stole the toilet paper with the poop from her and mm. like, no. kept it in the drawer. Mm. Everybody there's go watch been, my video I did on been, Brian Pumper. There's been so many stories on Brian, man. A girl's pissing on him, shitting on him, doing things, man. I don't, I don't know. I don't go looking for this shit. I don't go watching it. I just hear mm. about it. I know it's, it's funny shit out there about me. Niggas always want to yell at me, tell me, oh, I'm gay, I'm bi, I'm this and that. Yeah. Do you think that I'm a fool Whatever. if I uh, try to shoot content with Brian Pumper like once he gets out of jail? <laughs> well, in two senses. Depending on what he's in, because what I've heard he's in jail for isn't really good. It's like Sex stuff? Yeah, it's like underage girls. Mm, so yeah. that's what I'm. That's why I'm like, nah. That's bro. probably a good point then. Yeah. Yeah, like makes sure, we got to make sure what it is. You know what I'm saying? Because right. I've heard it's for statutory rape. I've heard it's for under and he's trafficking. He don't seem like the type who'd really be checking IDs at this point in his he's life. He's not. He's yeah. on the train. Like, oh, you're cute. You're. you're, you're, oh, you're I'm not gonna ask you your age. You're right. 16, you're 17. I'm gonna fuck you and I'm gonna take you in the train to do that. So Yikes. I feel like that's believable. Damn. We just have to know what's gonna happen. 
Yeah, that's you know a good exactly. Point. We we ran into a couple of dudes in this industry, dude, that have been bad, like, and we've seen the proof of it. Like, when I got blamed, when I got blamed, like, nah, that ain't me. Mm. But these dudes have literally beat the shit out of girls, broke their faces in, and Whoa. did stuff or taken advantage of girls on set and actually really raped them or drugged them and done things. This is all coming out now. Mm. I was kind of like one of more of the forefronts from it to when girls were mad at her because, bitch, you're lying. This shit really happened to us. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they were, girls were pissed. Mm-hmm. So, because I would never. I'm on the set protecting girls from dudes who are doing weird shit. Mm. I'm like, dude, you've been way too aggressive, my nigga. Like, fall back, Whoa. bro. Okay, guys, we want to thank you so, so much for getting us to 100,000 subscribers right here on the Clips channel. If you want to support, please click that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 200K. Thank you. Thank you so much.